What is up everyone, I am Grizz and today I am here for the second season of Tokyo Revengers. I'm very excited for this one, it's been about I think a year and a half-ish since season one finished airing. I absolutely love season one, I know it has its criticisms for how it basically just completely copied the manga and didn't actually do anything unique or special in its own way and how all people also don't like the story due to things with like time travel and stuff because everyone seems to be weird when stories involve that for some reason but regardless i enjoyed it a lot i just i overall thought it was a great story with very likable characters minus takamichi who is not enjoyable at all and I just really like the concept of going back and fixing mistakes and being able to affect the future that you have to try and save somebody. This season we'll be covering the Christmas Showdown arc, I believe, and I believe I saw on Twitter it's going to be 13 episodes. So I'm very excited about that. I believe it's the same staff and studio and everything that's working on it, so no changes are really expecting there. I do know Draken has a new voice actor due to some other stuff that happened and I don't know what he's going to sound like yet so I wonder if it's going to give him like a complete new feel or if it's literally just going to be somebody trying to copy what the previous voice had. I don't know. I also haven't actually heard his voice in a while so I might not remember if they're going to sound the same or not but we'll have to see. I'm also not sure if the version I'm watching this of is very good or if it's going to be censored or anything like that. I have no idea. Hopefully I learn more after this episode and can adjust it for future. And I also believe Disney is the sole licensor of this. So I'm not sure how they usually are with the React content and stuff like that. So this video may be taken down or I may cut the reaction portion out of it and have to upload it. And if I do, the link to that will be in the description, but we'll... Play it by episode, I guess, and see what really happens, because I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea which route this season will take. I know the manga just concluded, and I know it's a lot longer than what was covered in season one and what will be covered here, so I know I'm not expecting it to be over anytime soon. So ultimately, Takamichi's goal of saving Hina might be good, but now he's going to want to probably save everybody, and that's not going to be something I think that he does this season. I should have looked a bit more into it, because my memory's still a little hazy on the past season, but some other goals and things that might be important for me to know, but I'm sure it'll come back to me as I start watching. I do know the last episode we got left off with Takamichi getting promoted into a vice captain role, I believe. It was either the first or third division, I don't remember. I think it was first, because that was what Baji had. And then when he went back in time, it seemed like everybody was good, everyone was still alive, and the organization was huge. But then some stuff happened with Kisaki, and he got drugged and then they killed chief you and then uh, that's basically where we got left off i think they they tried to make it be left off on like a cliffhanger so it seemed like takamichi got shot but i don't believe that was the case so i'm assuming we'll get our answers to that right here what exactly happened and then he's gonna have to go back in time and fix some stuff that's what i'm guessing is gonna occur here kisaki was also crying and calling him his hero i do remember in that episode uh that i have zero idea as to what that could be and i'm assuming this season we'll get some answers hopefully at some point whenever if we flash back in the future i mean we might only flash forward one time like at the end of the season who knows but hopefully when we do we can actually see mikey for once because every time he's gone back since the beginning he's never seen mikey and he always seems to disappear so i want to see what the hell's going on with him and then almost all of these futures that they have it seems like draken gets executed somehow <laughs> so hopefully we can avoid that be sure after the reaction to stick around for the discussion portion at the end. If you enjoy the reaction or discussion or anything about the video at all, feel free to leave a comment, a like, or a subscribe. All those would make me very happy. And let's get started with Season 2, Episode 1. Ah uh, yes, where we ended off. Beautiful. I do wonder if he killed them here, if it would just be over, because like then he can't go back. So we're getting the whole last scene over again. Poor Chief View, look at him just... Bleeding out over there. Chief is a real homie though. We fuck heavy with him. Somebody gonna come in and stop it? That's my guess. The power went out? There's no way the power just went out. And then we got kidnapped? What the fuck happened? I'm guessing that's what happened. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like Baji. Baji yeah. It better not be. There's that that makes no sense. It better not be. Too many tears were shed over Baji being gone. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, good. 
is a uh, Kazutoro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he got out after being fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> You save them just to bully him? Were you gonna try and kill him though? Okay, you could have just told him that. You don't have to show him the example. Oh, okay, now that makes a bit more sense. They forgot got some of the ugliest looking characters, I'm just saying. Huh? Oh, from being being killed just now. Did he want to save him specifically for Baji? Or because Chifio was most accepting of him when he got out? Chifio is so cool. I like him so much. Interesting. トーマンは出かくなっておかしくなっちまった。それなのに、てめえらは率先して木崎の小松会唯一の頼みだったドラケンは死刑しろ。いや、like no. And that's why he's not around, probably. So let's change it. Seems like Kazutora's got his head on straight right now. Hopefully. Until he pulls out the 9 on you, but... Hmm. Hmm. マイキーが変わっちまったからだ。うん。一月前からミツヤが行方不明になってる。Okay. Kisaki is out here just murdering motherfuckers. But if he's not around, how is it his fault? If I thought he disappeared. That's what I'm confused about. I feel like Kazutori just doesn't like Mikey and he's capping. You didn't change him, fucking Baji changed him. So the black dragons brought in some money and fucked everything up. Is that what we're hearing? Okay, I mean, I can see that. That's just gonna fucking set him off. That's probably not very smart. And then they disposed of Chief Yu, so they know what's going on. So he, she's not saved. Yeah, she's not saved. So it couldn't have been him because he was with us. <laughs> yeah. Because or is this Naoto? Naoto! Yeah. Naoto. Oh. He's a re Yeah, he set him up! He set him up! Oh my god. Yes, sir. Oh, now that they're gonna interrogate him, okay. <laughs> Who is that? The dude talking with him? What? She still died. So still the same. But we can erase that in one second. But you should probably get the most info you can beforehand. So it's got
I like this Takamichi better. <laughs> yeah, this Takamichi is way cooler. I'm just saying. Not as much of a whiny bitch. <laughs> Chibi was taping everything you were doing. Holy shit. Why is he sticking around to him? Yeah, he's too good of a dude. For his own good. Call me past. <laughs> yeah, calm the fuck down. This time you're the problem. So I don't even know if Kazutora's whole thing about talking about it being Mikey was even true then. Because Takamichi's the one who really changed once he got power. You can say it was used, but he's the one who really changed, no? Yeah, you have actually done shit, yeah. It hasn't gone your way yet, but... And they were for you, but not for others. I mean, no, he's clearly a problem. We've known this for a long time now. We've known this for a while. You guys are just fucking stupid. Yeah. Be fucking great. This is it. The real test begins here. So dispose of that motherfucker as soon as you can. Or get him on your good side. Let's go! Right! <laughs> <laughs> Got the turkey. Does she do like the underhand shit? I hope so. That was cute. It's about to go super sane for you. Did his ball color just change when it went in the air? What was that? Oh! The homie next to him. You're on... You're the... But look who it is. You know this guy. You've seen him. You're also on the promo image. This episode was pretty similar to what happened a lot throughout the first season. Basically, flash forward in time, gather some info on what's happening and what could be, you know, causing... Hina to die and everybody else too and things to go to shit in the future and then keep an eye out for them when you basically go back in the past. And that's pretty much the the formula that it's going to continue to follow here. The thing that makes the show interesting is the stuff that happened in season one where there's sudden like betrayals or sudden deaths and things like that aren't really like fixable or you like don't know why they're occurring, right? Like, why throughout the first, I think, like, 12 or 13 episodes of the first season, uh, Akun was the one who was constantly involved somehow in killing off, like, Hina or killing other people or being controlled some sort of way or him being the one that changed and you having to figure out exactly what was the cause of that. But we didn't really have much info as to what the cause of that was. But we kind of got leads here or there, like, oh, this could be the reason why. And then you being shocked by him being the one that's driving the truck or not Kisaki, but the other guy, the tall dude, Hanma, I think his name was, us running into him when we flash forward. Stuff like that. Or the fact that Kazutoro gets locked up and Baji ends up actually passing and you have to lose somebody and you have to move forward and you're not able to revert and change that. But also being able to see other sides of these characters. For example, the situation with Kazutoro, how even after Mikey wanted to basically kill the dude, he basically changes his mind and forgives him and basically says when he gets out of prison that he can be a part of them still because he's one of the founders and he was there since the beginning for them. 
and he's doing it because he wants to forgive Baji or he wants Baji to forgive him and he wants to do what's right or do what Baji would have wanted, right? And that shows to me at least like Mikey's able to change and Mikey is very loyal and cares about the people around him. But it also shows that Mikey is very easily influenced and we can see this season where Kazutoro is now out of prison and we find out that apparently since the Black Dragons were able to be taken over by Toman and Mikey basically became corrupted in a way. They excel at getting money and basically getting what they want and that lifestyle in a way took over Mikey and took over his way of doing things and I think they said it was like his ethics and stuff like that for the the group themselves. I am a bit confused by the parts where Kazutaro talks about how Mitsuya went missing and like a month ago Mikey sent people out for him. I don't know if he actually, they, the way it was worded was weird to me so I don't know if he actually sent other people to go look for Mitsuya or he sent people to make Mitsuya go missing or Mikey sent himself out to go look for Mitsuya. I don't really know what happened there but regardless they talk about how Mikey's never here and how he disappeared and he never comes to any of these meetings and he's just like He's not involved anymore, right? But then he was around like within this last month to give out an order. See, stuff like that kind of confuses me. So I don't know if that's true or if Kazutoro is still just completely fucked up in the head and wants revenge and he acts like he doesn't and he acts like he's trying to save Mikey when he's really not. Maybe my line of thinking there is a bit off, but I don't, I don't think I'm too far off. Also with the fact how he kept talking about how he wanted to change things and wanted to help Takamichi change things and then he goes ahead and he turns him in and over to uh, Naoto and he sets him up basically like I don't I don't fuck with Kazutora still at all I don't I don't know I do think we saw our only appearance of Naoto for the season in this episode I think we saw our only appearance of Kazutoro for the season I think after this episode it kind of clicked or confirmed a little bit more in my head I don't think we're going forward at all until maybe the last episode of the season but even then who knows but I think we're going to get 11 or 12 straight episodes of dealing with what's happened at the end we get left with the guy with the blue hair and then a girl that was with him while they were out bowling. I'm pretty sure that guy was at the group table at the uh, end of the last episode. So I'm pretty sure he was like one of the execs at that point. So he's a part of the Black Dragons, I believe, and took over. Uh, we saw a few different characters at the end, which do all appear to be for the Black Dragons, I believe. As Kazutoro and Naoto basically said that the goal is to stop the Black Dragons and also to, to stop the Black Dragons, but mainly to get them away from Mikey so that he doesn't become corrupted, but also then keep an eye out and figure out what to do with Kisaki and what his obsession is with Takamichi and killing off Hina. Uh, also the hero thing, I still don't understand that, but they did bring it up again by the end of the episode. So I'm pretty sure that's something we're going to figure out this season. I like the character design of the girl that was with the, the blue hair guy at the end. I don't know. I just, something about her. She seemed cool. And also the the squad leader for what I'm believing is the Black Dragons, he he seemed pretty cool too. At least his design was. I don't know at the end if that was the OP or the ED. I haven't really paid attention to when they announced the OP before, so I don't know. I think it was probably the OP, and then we got to see off all the different characters. In terms of animation quality, it didn't look stepped up like in the slightest to me from season one. So I really don't think it's going to change at all. But I'll let that slide because I didn't care for it season one. As long as the story can really grip me, it doesn't matter too much by animation. Although that definitely is a plus and adds to it if it was good. I thought it was a very tense episode and I was engaged, which is all you're really looking for. So very happy and excited for more. Hopefully we get to see Draken next episode so I can see what the hell he sounds like now. I really think we just need to do off and kill Kisaki, but I think the route that the story is going to take is us trying to save him in a way, or just trying to get to the bottom of the way he thinks, which just isn't rational and he's the issue and he needs to be the one that's gone. At least we don't have to kill him, but at least we got to cut ties with him somehow. Something else that just came to my mind was when they were showing Takamichi on like the hidden cameras that they had and he was acting all like hard as shit and completely like opposite and different from what we usually see him as actually makes a lot of sense because I'm pretty sure in the first season Hina talked about how every like there's certain days where he's like cold towards her and then there's certain days where he's like the nice happy kind version of him which is the one that we see so I'm pretty sure that other version of him is like a split personality thing in a way which could be like something that gets played into this but it also could be why the future changes so drastically and he becomes the way he does is because the other version of himself is really 
just different and like, cares for different things and has different like morals i guess i don't know though we'll see what happens next week i'm excited to get into the rest of the season and see exactly what's going to unfold i'll also be reacting to season two of vinland saga this week so make sure you look out for that video if there's anything else this season you want to see a reaction to let me know i don't have anything else i'm planning to but i'm open to literally anything or even if it's just a show that didn't air this season and you want to see a reaction to it, I'm also open to adding in a slot for that. If you could leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed, that would mean a lot to me. Comment any thoughts or opinions on the episode down below. Follow me on Twitter and my anime list. Both of those links are in the description. And hopefully I see you back for episode two next week. Peace.